Hello dancers, I'm coming to you today to dance the story of the little hump-backed horse. When you hear the music, we begin. Mm, long ago, in old mother Russia. There was a man, he had three sons. He said, sons, watch bandits. And the sons watched the wheat fields all night long. The oldest sons fell asleep. But the youngest son, Ivan, he would not sleep. He walked quietly, quietly, quietly all around the wheat to make sure he saw the bandits and stopped them. And when the sun finally rose, over the wheat field, there was not a wind in the sky, and the wheat began to move. Now, if the wind wasn't moving the wheat, what must be moving the wheat but bandits? Ivan was ready and he was scared, but then all of a sudden what came out of the wheat was two horses, really pretty horses with golden manes. The horses went, nay! And behind them was a little horse with floppy ears, big floppy ears, and a hump on his back. She so couldn't ride him. And the little horse was pretty cute. And Ivan saw him and fell in love. And then Ivan looked on the ground and he saw something really special. It was a feather, but not a regular feather. It was a firebird feather. That's a magic bird from Russian folk tales. He was proud of his firebird feather. He liked it so much, but the horse was smart. The little humpback horse said, leave it. Those are trouble. Ivan said, this is too special to leave. And he wrapped it around his waist. And as soon as he did, the trouble started. His brothers woke up and they got to the horses. They got on top of the golden hair horses and they rode off. Here we go. Chasse, 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 chasse. They rode and they rode until Ivan couldn't see them anymore. And Ivan saw that they had left their boots. He said, how will I find them? And the little humpback horse was such a good friend. He said, patting his hump, I can help. And then Ivan brushed his little ears thinking, aren't you cute? How can you help? And the two of them began to fly. They flew and flew. They flew and flew. And they flew all the way until they got to the palace in Russia. In front of the palace was the czar who had been walking around meeting people. And when Ivan saw the czar, the czar was interested in the little, in, in the golden maned horses. The czar liked Ivan immediately and said, you should work for me. And Ivan said, okay. So he took a job pushing the throne all around the palace. He pushed it and he pushed it. Remember this position? This is what we did for work for dad. Now he pushed the czar all the way into the center of the palace, but there were beautiful paintings. The czar said, what's on your waist? And Ivan pulled the feather off of his waist and attached one of the painting, one of the paintings on the wall. The painting was a painting of wheat in the sunrise and the wheat came alive. The czar and Ivan looked at the painting and moving and moving, they could smell the wheat and the dirt and the sunrise. And the czar got very excited. He ran to another painting and said, touch this one. And when he did, Ivan touched it with a feather and it was a picture of a Zarina. That's Russian for princess. The princess twirled and she moved on her tiny feet and her tiny feet. And then she disappeared. And when she disappeared, the czar said, Ivan, get her. And Ivan, he doesn't know how to get a magic princess. He said, how? And the little horse said, I can help. And they flew. 
and they flew, and flew, and flew, and flew, and they went all the way until they reached this place that was totally new. And the princess sat, and Ivan said, the czar loves you. And the princess said, I don't know him. And the little horse said, I can help. And all three of them flew and flew, flew and flew, until they got to the czar. The czar had brought a lot of people, a big party, and all of them were waiting with him. He had a big ring with him. And when the princess came there, he said, marry me. And the princess, she said, there's only one ring for me. She explained that she had thrown the ring for her into the sea so that if anyone wanted to marry her, they had to work very hard for it. The czar didn't really listen. He just said, Ivan, go get it. And Ivan said, how? And the little horse said, I can help. And the two of them flew. They flew and flew, flew and flew all the way to the sea. When they reached the sea, they swam and they swam until they got to the bottom where they saw a giant oyster. The oyster seemed to know Ivan was coming. It opened up and inside of it was a beautiful lady, like an empress, but of the sea. And she raised she raised up the ring. And when Ivan took it, it helped him bring float all the way up to the top of the water. And when he got there, he got back to the czar, gave him the ring, and the Tsarina said, hmm, bath first. And she brought out a big tub full of boiling milk. And that scared the czar. The czar said, Ivan first. And Ivan said, okay. And he jumped into the milk. When Ivan came out, he looked clean and handsome. He had a new suit. All the people said, you look like a czar. And that made the czar jealous. The czar said, me next. And the czar jumped into the milk. Up, up. And when he jumped into the milk, he came out for just a second. And then went boom, 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 boom. And he squiggled and quirled until he became a raisin. In some of the books it says he becomes a fairy. And all of the people said, who will be our czar? And the princess said, there is only one czar for me. And that's the story of the little humpbacked horse. Ivan, the Zarina, and the little humpback horse lived happily ever after. And we learned this story in the ballet class because in Russia, they use this old Russian fable to teach to all of the ballet schools. You see, the ballet schools have performances, one in the spring and one in the winter. And the spring performance is usually the little humpback horse. So the Russian ballet schools, which are very, very good dancers, they know this story very well. And so should we. Dancers, I am so happy to have danced with you today. Thank you so much. I hope you followed all of my steps because you can watch this video again and again and get better, better, best at the story of the little ah, humpbacked horse.